what I mean about the backhand side. Difficult. You can see the height this one comes out, but he's very comfortable because it's a slightly shorter swing. He's very... He just didn't quite do enough with the volley here. Just gave Nadal a chance, and you can't do that against the Spaniard. It was a, to be fair, it was a difficult volley to open up an angle. Very impressive. Meyer comes back with a strong serve. Yes. The urgency there to try and do a little more on this particular surface. Nadal covering from side to side earns another great point. The return is cleanly as he will have wanted here. He didn't, in fact, and it landed in a very uncomfortable position for Meyer from that position. great second serve I and mean, that looks like a relatively bad miss but that had pace that had depth to it 128 mph yeah Maya finishes it off with an ace there two gets perfectly over. placed Perfect. and fights his way out of trouble retreat against Nadal the you yeah, have to make sure you get good length point by Meyer get there but it's the movement Vinci. off the first ball so this is a great little dig but it's the coverage he makes up to cover that particular shot <laughs> be in trouble and well, this was the case here good pick just held his ground Nadali anticipated well I did a did to be honest a pretty good job of stats and his numbers and his positions he's taken in the last 12 months. Uh, and hard play play. Been very very there have been times when he's looking to take the ball early, times when he's looking to step back. Just inside the line. For Meyer on his own surf. Second serve, so it's a gives the a little more time, but and the goal gets the job done.
40 15. To agree with Pascal Maria about this not up call, it was very tight. Third one here of the main draw. That's you know. He's not going to get away scot free. Cheese, you cheese. Probably end up losing this game. This is just a little gentle reminder for Nadal of the, what he can do to you. Wow, a stunning backhand. The hands to return serve with the backhand grip. So for him initially to get a, a good clean strike on the return is a little easier. Somehow fended this one off down the line. Look at this. Another in. Five two. Set to mine. See what his response is here. 15 up. Game. Oh, yeah. Impressive hold from Meyer to start the second, game, set. second set. That's so often how he's been able to break opponents down and. A much more comfortable position and again with the confidence to move forwards Thought the ball was going to drift long, ended up having to rescue the shot, push the ball short, and the dial was on to. Great answer by Meyer. The momentum was swinging away from him a couple of forehands in the previous game he didn't have the room to work with here he does you can see where nadal is there's much more space for him to hit into there doesn't have to be quite as aggressive off it but good drop shot but Take a risk, just caught it a little too heavy. Nadal was there, but of course, Nadal loves that little dink angle cross court off that side. And Maya was already going that way.
forget what's gone on in the last 30 seconds. Still he battles back. Yes. for Nadal to begin the sixth game. In the darkest corners, and the result of Nadal's end, Meyer finds room with a stunning running forehand. And he was in. Well, this call is, as we know, Arthur Ashe, a very, very deep court. It's a huge arena here. And if you're defending a smash, the one thing you do have is depth to work with. Tonight, but it has been all week. In. What an epic struggle this has been so far. 15 of them. Yeah. The other one is also against Federer in Indian Wells. hit the ball that Nadal's found himself in this position so rarely tonight. Quoted. Nick, he lost all three of them. And he has to break through as far as the break point chance once again. But this was a, a weak one from Maya for once. Didn't get the concept he was looking for. And Maya saves another one. Yes. Be a shot. On the fifth break point of this game, the eighth of the set, the 14th of the match, Rafa Nadal breaks through. And the third set, the third set, set, Mayer. Again, Nadal. And Nadal. After a 
10 minute, 18 second Not game. That five games to three. In a considerably shorter period of time, is able to back up the break for 5 3. Just a different player, isn't he? All of a sudden. Fifteen fourteen. Went for it there, just missed. Thirty fourteen. That ability tonight. Such a classy shot. Breaks again and takes the one second second. set with one set apiece here at Arthur Ashe Stadium. Now he's got to do it for another what is now effectively a best of three set match and we're already two hours in and that's the challenge for the Argentine. Well with the temperatures low for the most part through the tournament I think we had temperatures in the 80s one day Fahrenheit this week. Done a lot of instances of cramping back. Fifteen thirteen. To 15. He hasn't had a lot of aces tonight, has he? That's only his third of the night. I do think Maya just lost a little bit of zip off the ground as well. Starting to wear on Maya. Up the break no, no, with three love here in the third. third. Now Meyer is serving at love three. Fifteen up. Fourteen up. Well, in this spot, he is freed of the uh, grinding tension that uh, these two played under in that second set. Was a game point. Delightful touch.
do about that. Yeah, Maya really just kind of rolling the forehand back in this rally, not doing a whole lot. That was actually made his first break point after an 0 for 13 uh, start in that category. Again, no, no. And on the double fault. Meyer frustrated. No, no, he's back into one. Big moments finally came through. Game. And that's it. And the dog no, no. grabs that third Six set. To one. He is up two sets to one. No, no, he's by two sets to one. Stadium. Standing up so well to Nadal's Love forehand, 13. wasn't he? Fifteen, fifteen. Match was going his way. Testing him in many, so many different ways right now. Isn't he? The ball is missing those early. It's three unforced in the entire third set indicate he's not missing anymore. It was a weak backhand, wasn't it, from Maya? This wasn't getting that much. Exactly uh, that. that I mean, he's got no business here. This is almost a shoelace height from where he's picked it up. <laughs> and the doll digs himself out of a tough spot. My eyes keep on this menu. the movement forwards here this is the key to it Nadal's got good width but he steps into the ball still had a lot to do Couple of good weeks and a lot of bad ones. He's had a couple of injury issues as well. Face and what we saw for about the first hour and a half. Fifteen up. A lot of early losses, and he made one other quarter final in 2007. Yeah, yeah, turn on the right passer line. Or what's going?
Again, Meyer. Well, he sprints off the court he after his 12 days. I think this is also another example, you know, we, it's a bit of a cliche and we talk about it a lot. The fact it's over five sets, everything that comes with that, you know, sustain the quality for longer, the physical side comes into play. And he misses. It all comes through with the break once again. Talk so often about players perhaps playing themselves into four. 15 outs. Battle began. Well, this match for me epitomizes the old adage about you can't always control how well you play, but you can control how hard you try. Get a break. We saw that frequently on some big Pitch points in early in the match. Closing in for the finish. It should have been the finish, shouldn't it? Very heavy handed. May I tell you the goal on the left upside for what's put out? With the crowd roaring, we couldn't hear the call of out. I don't think Meyer did either. Nope. Pascal Maria had to inform him of that. And thus he challenges. And the shot was in.